There's a woman, she was able to record her colleagues being racist against her. Um, black IT graduate has quit working at legal and general showpiece HQ in London after a tape recording uh, of two of her colleagues was exposed. The colleagues were saying racist things. Let's put up a picture again, all right? Janika Frimpong says she accidentally left her phone on her desk while it was recording. She later discovered it had recorded a racist conversation between her colleagues who said things like black people have a smell about them. And you know black girls, they don't wash their hair. Here's the recording. Do you feel like, don't want to be rude, but she has a smell about her? Huh. No. Like a fried oil smell. I You know, the fact that this was caught on recording in this one situation means that basically every time she leaves their presence, <clears throat> they're talking about her. Okay. I mean, it would be a hell of a coincidence if this was just the one time they had ever talked about her, it was during this incident. No, no, they, this was their routine. Um, Friend Pong says she became drained and unhappy working there and at times um, I would have panic attacks from the sheer hurt according to the mirror. She left her job January 10th, the company tweeted a response. We are upset and saddened to hear about your experience. The allegations are appalling and not reflective of, of us or our culture. We have an internal investigation underway to identify all individuals concerned and we will do all we can to make sure this doesn't happen Again, uh, no word if the employees have been disciplined. And here's the thing, <clears throat> no, you know, I don't think your internal investigation needs to go too far. She knows who did it. So just ask her, who said it? Where did you leave your phone? Whose office is it next to? Real simple. Jackson, thoughts? Yeah, exactly. From a company you know, disciplinary standpoint, all they got to do is ask her who did it and, and fire the people who did it to set an example. And you know, this really just reflects that, you know, the women who were having the conversation really don't know very many black people or didn't grow up around very many people within the culture. Because, you know, not everybody has their hair the same way, not everybody wears the same products, and just people in general, if you smell a certain way, it's just because you smell a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Like she don't like she ain't never been around, you know, any white boys or white dudes or whatever people who maybe they haven't showered in a few days. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like it people are people, you know? So it's yeah. just, again, it's just a childish conversation. Well, know? in that conversation, what you find, and you find this routine with bigots who are unaware that they are bigots. We mm -hmm. call it implicit bias. Everything that they perceive as negative, they will attribute it to your blackness. So they will say things like black people this, black people that, right? Mm -hmm. Not realizing that in that you are now attributing to what you determine to be a negative to the black race of the individual or the black race in general. And that's exactly what they did in this conversation, showing that their implicit bias is front and center. There's a difference between hyperaggression bias and implicit bias, but the product is the same discriminatory practices in the workplace and beyond.